Okay, so <clears throat> I've seen some information on this on the web and thought I would give it a try. So this is something you can buy on Pulse TV. No, I'm not dropping names. It's the only place I know of that you can get it. Uh, currently, and this is the 28th of July, 2017, they are out of stocks. But they're $34.99. You can buy two of them for just under 60 bucks, which is what I actually did. I bought two. One that I can use right away, and then one that I can play with that I'm going to try and do some stuff to see if I can actually make it cooler than it is. So, simply enough, we have the tower, and inside the tower there is a filter system that gathers up the moisture from the water tank that I will show you in just a moment. And the basic process is just like an evaporative cooler where as the moisture goes away, here's the water tank, it tends to cool the air down. So simply enough, uh, the unit itself seems to function fine, although the first time I tried it without the water tank in it, I noticed that when the speed was on high, and of course now it's going to be quiet for me, it tended to make a buzzing sound until you put the tank in, then it quieted off. Maybe with my moving it, that's gotten it to be a bit better. I don't know. Time will tell. Also, one other thing I read as I was looking at this was some people complained about it leaking, but I think I might have figured that out. Because I've noticed when you take this tank out, which by the way, once you fill it, all you got to do is put this cap back on and it's all nice and ready to go, that it leaves water in the reservoir. And then would you... There's the buzz. I don't think you can hear it, but I can hear it right now. But it'd be noisy if it's in your room at night and you're trying to go to sleep. So when you take it off, there's water left inside in this little reservoir hold. So when you lift it up, and this thing, as you might see, doesn't seal perfectly. It does tend to drip. You've got water in there, so when you put it back in, it'll splash out. And that might be how some people say that they ended up getting some water that would affect them. So with my short test, I did not see any water come out of it. But I thought I would do something better than that because just showing you this and none of the ones that I saw on the YouTube do this, so I'm going to do it. I want to measure and see what the temperature drop is, but I did also see something I'm going to try. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try it one way, then I'm going to try something that they recommended and see if it makes a difference. That being one place recommended that before you use it, you actually soak this and get it wet which will get the water already up into it. But we're going to try it first without. So, simply enough, get your unit out. And as they, if you look on the net, you will see that they do have the ability to have it run off four C batteries as well. That makes it great if you want to be portable, but of course batteries don't tend to hold their power for a very long period of time. Although this is a pretty efficient DC motor, but still your batteries are going to run out. But if you've got your AC adapter, you're on good for 24-7. So unpack it, get it out. If you want to go ahead and get this wet first, do it. We're going to try it without and see how it does. Fill the reservoir up. As you can see, I really don't have that much in it. It's about, well, maybe about half full. And they say that when it's full, you can get about 10 hours out of it. Um, and you simply... drop it in. It's that easy. Put the cover on and it's done. So at this point the reservoir is filling up with water so there is water coming through it. So give me a moment while I set up my temperature gauge. Okay so temperature gauge is in place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in tighter on this so that I hope that you can see it better. And then we'll turn this on and we'll see, does it cool this air? It's a nice day. It's 80 degrees or so in the shade here in sunny Southern California. But does it cool more than it's than it just simply having a fan on? Well, let's find out. So if you want to really check it, let's put it on high. Let's see what happens. I need to say that's unimpressive. It really didn't do anything. So out of curiosity, we'll try one of the things that was recommended in the line of 
getting that wet. We'll do that simply enough by taking the filter out. And I'll be right back. So as you can see, these are wet now. So we'll find out if it makes any difference starting out wet. Okay, it's showing 79 right now without it on. So after several minutes of running, what have we got? Really nothing. I did see it dip down as low as 77, but that's as far as I've seen it get. Well, my honest opinion at this point is it's a waste of money. Now, is this a totally fair way to do it? Maybe not, because I am outdoors, so I am getting a little bit of a breeze that will affect things. But I'm right in front of this, and all I really feel is air. I don't feel anything cooling. We know, you saw, that that filter was wet. It didn't give me anything. So I guess my final answer would be, this thing really is not worth the money that they say it is. I guess you can kind of make your own pick if you want to. Again, Pulse TV. Give it a try if you want, or throw it away. Okay, so here inside the house... Yeah, almost the same as outside. Let's see what we get. Being closer now, you can hear the sound of the fan. Not exactly quiet to have when you're going to sleep. But let's give it a minute. Oh, there you have it. Doesn't really make any difference inside or outside. The air doesn't feel any cooler to me than this big fan that I have over here. Well, I think I just wasted 60 some odd dollars. But you know what? They say things like if you put ice in it, the water's colder. Well, that all depends on how well this stuff evaporates or soaks the water up. But you know what? If I find a difference or way to improve it, I'll let you know.